And we're back. Okay, Kudum Malloy, check it in with this part two video of the Moon Lens backpacking camping chair, whatever they want to call this thing. This is the blue color. This is with the feet fully extended as well. So it's pretty solid. I mean, just doing like a little walk around this thing. It's pretty solid. There's me. Terminator XL from Everly Stock, in case anybody was curious. That thing is so loaded right now. I just got back from a little backpacking trip. But anyways, that's what the chair looks like. The moon lens, walking around it. Here's a little shot if you want to see what that looks like. Here's a little shot down to the ground. Okay, you get the idea. There is a pocket. There's one pocket over here. Man, I've seen so many videos on YouTube talking about this chair. Well, I think people are just whiny bitches. I mean, I'm sorry to admit, but it's like they're complaining. Oh my God, I can't fit anything in there. You could definitely fit two sodas, right? There's one pocket here. You can fit a cell phone in there. There's another pocket right here that's a little bit bigger. So if you notice, this one's a, this one's closer to the to the main fabric. This one comes out a little bit. You could, I guess, fit a soda in there, like a Coke can or whatever. I don't drink soda, so I couldn't honestly tell you. But I would say cell phone soda maybe beverage of your choice whatever you decide to do you get the idea but there's that terminator xl from Everly stock just say just point that oh see the summit these stuff bags are amazing they're just amazing i keep them on the outside of my pack one has my that one has my sleeping bag this one has my under quilt so just saying i will put links down there below in the description so make sure to check that out then here i've got the uh msr Mountain Safety Research 4 liter Dromedary. I've done videos on this before as well. Go back in my video history, you'll see those. But just kind of sprinkling this video with other content. So there's the chair. There's the front view, right? Here's down low. And remember, this is with the legs fully extended. So in the previous video, I was trying to tell everybody just a little tip or trick or advice is make sure that those legs are fully seated into the base before you decide to sit on it. That'll help you out immensely. You get the idea. So there's the chair. There you go. All right. So I like it. It works for me. This thing supposedly holds up to 400 pounds. As you know from my other videos, I am a very large individual. <laughs> and uh, so far it's held up for me. Some tips or tricks that I will tell you are or other tips or tricks are make sure the feet are fully seated, right? Make sure the feet are all the way up in there. Double check. Another tip is do not lean back in the chair. The temptation is to lean back in the chair. When you lean back in the chair, you might break these plastic pieces. I never have, never me personally. But then again, I've never tried to lean back in the chair because I have a fear that it will break. So just as long as you're on all four legs, you're fine. One cool thing I like about the adjustable legs is that let's say you're on hilly terrain, you can always shorten or lengthen the legs as you need to, to match the terrain. So that way you've got a good foundation to sit on. There are people, I think, that have done like some kind of strap system underneath the legs to kind of, kind of give like a solid platform base. You could do that. Maybe that'll be a future video. I'm not sure. But that's what the underside of the base looks like. So there's a chair on top. There's the underside of the base. These are aluminum poles. That's hard plastic. Some kind of hard plasticky resin kind of a material. And it is a good quality material. I have to admit, like I know the, the plastic part is definitely good quality plastic. Like it's a kind of ABS plastic that you would get. You know, you know what I mean. Here's your Moonlands logo. These little straps are for securing the feet once it's all folded up and said and done and all that. And then back here, you've got your points for the chair frame to go into. These are pretty solid, really good stitching, if that's what you want to call that. Looks pretty legit to me. Then you've also got this pocket back here. So the pocket goes, I'd say, about the length of my hand. So right there is my finger. So that's something I haven't seen in another video, so I'm glad I... Glad I posted that up. But you could put a pillow back here, I guess, if you wanted to. Mine's packed away, but you could put something back there. You know, wintertime, cold, sitting by the fire, watching the uh, football games, 
you know, doing whatever, watching a game of some kind or whatever, you could put a heating pad in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> be creative, right? Those little hot hand things. I don't know how they would hold up in there. That'll be a future video probably, but something to think about. And this material, wow, this material is like a really good thick canvas, almost like a sailcloth type of material. It's not waxed as far as I know. It's not protected in any way. It's just the material, but the stitching in here is pretty good. So you got double stitching, right? Look at the stitching there. This is around the pocket right from the other side. Or not the pocket, but the uh, the place where the, where the frame pole goes into. So it's pretty okay. You know, it's okay for what it is. I mean, for the price of this chair. And the, just the link to this chair will be down in the description section down there below. So make sure to check that out. But honestly, I'm happy with it. You know, it's held up. It's held up about... I'd say about six or seven times of me sitting on it outdoors indoors i do the whole supporting of the what is that uh intro to speed community right electric powered electric vehicles and i take this to some of their events and i just sit in it pretty much all day eight hours ten hours whatever the case may be but it's holding up it's held up it's holding up i do like it and there you go so Links to this and most of this stuff will be down in the description. They're down below. Make sure to check that out. Also hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing, wherever that is. And if you have a comment, you want to see something in a future video, definitely post it up. And I will catch you on the next exciting video. So there you go. There's your movements.